What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Be The Fish. As you can tell, we're not home. We're in a hotel room right now. And uh, we are making our way south from New York because it is early February. New York is super cold. It was five degrees when I left home. And uh, we are in South Carolina right now. We are actually on our way down to Florida to our my parents' house to stay for a few weeks. And uh, we'll be fishing the first Hobie event on the Harris chain down there which will be the first chasing hardware. Before we do that, we have a couple days to spend on the way down. And, uh, and so therefore, we are in Anderson, South Carolina right now, about to go fish Lake Hartwell here in the morning. Hopefully gonna get a few hours of rest, but uh, we've made our way down. We drove down today a good 10, 11 hours. Got it down here, got to Anderson, and uh, we're gonna go try and catch our first bass of 2023. And uh, go try to put a hurt in and learn about some spotted bass. That's the plan anyway. That's what we're gonna try to do. Uh, I'm excited about it because I don't know anything about spotted bass and I wanna learn about them because you never know where the TOC might be if we can qualify for the TOC again this year. But Chasing Hardware is coming, but that's not what today's video is. Chasing Hardware is coming up soon, but for now, I'm going to get to bed, turn off the lights here, wake up bright and early. It's gonna be cold here in the morning. Not as cold as New York, but it's going to be 27 degrees here in the morning. We try to go chase some spotted bass. So it's going to be interesting. No idea how to approach these fish, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to bring you guys along. Stay tuned. We'll see you bright and early. Whoo, it's cold. It is 27 degrees this morning. We're triple layered up. I got a, a blackfish t uh, long sleeve on. Got a light blackfish hoodie, and then another hoodie over top of that. Looks like there's some boats out there. I don't know if there's a tournament going on right there. It's gotta be a tournament going on over there. But here we are, Lake Hartwell. Check this place out. It is cold, but if there's one thing I have learned about spotter bass, not learned like from experience, but learned from being told is that cold weather does not bother these fish. They will eat still. So I have no idea what's gonna happen today. All I know is we're gonna try and stay warm. We're gonna go rig up, get the kayak all situated. It's been well over a month since I've been on the kayak. So gotta get everything all prepared and together because everything's all it literally crammed in the truck for our trip. So gotta get stuff ready, gotta get some rods rigged because I have nothing rigged up on any of the rods right now. I'm thinking like jerk bait. Damiki's probably gonna be the big player. I'll probably throw on a fritz side, something like that, if we can find some shallow riprap. Beyond that, I mean, it's gonna be fun. I think it's gonna be a day where it's gonna be forward-facing sonar, which what I'll do is if it becomes heavy, I mean, just looking at them on the screen, uh, I'm gonna bring them out with me. That way you guys can see real time, me looking at them, seeing what I'm seeing, seeing my bait, seeing the fish. Well, let's go get situated, get on the water, and uh, you guys should see my poor truck. It's a time of year where salt all, all over the roads. My poor truck. It's so nasty. She needs a wash. All right, I need to get warm. We'll see you guys on the water. All right, that took a lot longer than expected. Finally time to get on the water here. It took us about an hour to get done. So we got Torquedo and everything rigged up. We got brand new forward facing sonar shaft. This is the new Sniper Marine mount, which is actually pretty cool. It's like a hand, like a bicycle grip. I can turn it versus having to swivel. Let's see, let's make sure. Over reliable, it's hooked up. All right, we got our X250 amp hooked up. Go. All right, so we're rocking shallow jerk bait. We got Berkeley Stunner rigged up. We got the Miki rig. We got a little spark shad swim bait. Deeper diving crankbait, it's a Ber new Berkeley money badger. We got the Evergreen flat force, a little flat side jig. And then a deeper dive and jerk bait. Let's go catch, let's go catch our first bass of 2023. Let's go catch our first spotted bass of 2023. And hopefully, we're going to catch a personal best today. Personal best spotted bass. Let's do it. Let's do this thing. Let's do it. 
water is crystal clear. All right. So we are on the famous Lake Hartwell. Been a few Bassmaster Classics here. If anybody has some bass in history. And what we're doing right now is I'll switch this over to my mapping here so you can see a better look. Better look at what we're looking for. I got my new Lake Master VX chip here. We're really targeting these ditches here. These ditches right in here, as you guys can see, these contours, and obviously I'm gonna try and target some of these points as well. I'm trying to find these these fish positioned up in here where we can then use forward-facing sonar to further dial them in. At least that's the uh, the plan anyway. And uh, gonna try to find them. Most likely they're gonna be, we're looking for bait. The bait's not there, chances are the fish aren't there. Right now they're gonna be heavy bait oriented being that it's late winter. We're gonna see what our water temps are coming to, but it's around 50 degrees, which is good. Uh, I guess for me as a northerner, I see 50 degrees and I get excited, but down here it's a little bit different story. These fish get real sluggish, but uh, we're gonna come keep putzing around, try to find them. We're gonna let the torpedo do most of the work right now and uh, see if we can't start marking some fish and then we'll put on forward facing and see if we can't run into some, which looks like we're coming up on some fish right here. You guys can, uh, no, I think that's actually the ledge here. This is actually wild, holy crap, look at that. That's insane. I'll try to zoom in on the screen for you guys so you can see it a little bit better. But essentially this is what we're running today. Which is all these ditches and these little fingers. These little creek arms that come back. We're going to be running ditches. We're going to try a multitude of things. Because again, this is my first time on Hartwell. So I have no idea where these fish might be. How they're going to set up. That sort of thing. So we're probably going to end up running a lot of water. Torquedo's going to do a lot of the work. And uh, we're going to see what we can uh, try to manage here today. So you guys can see there's a little ripple on the water. Sun's coming down. That's what the conditions are supposed to be today. It's bluebird skies, absolutely not a cloud in the sky. A little bit of wind. So I'm kind of hoping we can find some shallow and then see if we can't uh, go see if we can't get on a jerk bait bite, crankbait bite. But chances are if it stays like this, it's gonna be a Demiki deal, which is fine by me. I love throwing a Demiki rig. I know it's not the most exciting technique for people, but for me, I love finessing. So we're gonna see if we can find any of that, but it's gonna be we got some timber coming up here. It's gonna be an interesting day today. We're gonna to probably try a mix of things. We're actually gonna go fish docks, which is something I rarely ever do. Uh, but we're gonna do that and, and experiment with some deals. So I'm excited. We'll see what we can do and try uh, and keep our mind open, try some different things and not try to uh, pigeonhole ourselves here. There we go. I had fish all over me right there. Man, they didn't want it. That's wild. That fish went absolutely crazy over this thing. I almost kind of wonder if that was a striper. I've heard there's big stripers in here. Damn. All right, guys, it has been four hours. We haven't caught a single fish. We've had a couple chasers and that's about it, but we are not finding them. But water is 51 degrees. We're gonna try a couple more pockets and then uh, honestly, we'll probably go back one of these creeks and flip some docks and such and kind of go with the flow from there. But it is 12 o'clock. We got about a seven hour drive to where we wanna go fish uh, tomorrow and so I'm trying to go fish a nice lake in Florida I'm trying to film another video for you guys if we can actually film a video today we haven't even caught a dang bass to film a video yet uh, but I'd like to go fish a, a lake up in northern Florida tomorrow on the way down to my parents house so we're gonna keep trying for probably a couple more hours here and then start getting on our way to get out of here We have given up on the spot 
bass right now. At least the, the deep spots. It's not going the way I would have liked it to. Could not find any. I really just had a spot come up and try to eat this as I was burning the jerk bait back in the boat. Finally hooked up, literally right at the ramp. A good spot too, I think. This is a striper. Whatever it is, it's a nice fish. Nice spot, nice spot. That might be my PB spot. <laughs> yes. That's awesome. We're literally about to go in. Like, literally on our way back to the ramp. Old Demiki rig gets her done. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Get a picture. You can see what we're focusing on here. So you see on Lake Master, these little ditches here, just came out of the structure. We gotta know what our PV spot is. A whopping 213, almost a three pounder. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Let's see if we can't catch a couple more. All right, we're gonna see if we can't catch a couple more. Setup is simple. Seven foot medium fast fantasies to X from Ava Garcia. New Ava Garcia Revo SX. 10 pound Berkeley X9 braid to 8 pound Gamma fluorocarbon Queen Tackle Tungsten Sonar Head and then a little Strike King Z2. It's not my favorite color Z2, but it's doing the job right now. We're gonna get back over here on top of them and see if we can't get ourselves another one. It was literally right on top of that fish when he ate, right on this ledge. We got another one. Things came up so slow. Another spotted bass. A little chunkier one. Nice. Another little guy. Thank you, sir. Get your way back. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm a video game fisherman. I'm trying my best to show you. Everything. I'm trying. I love it too much. Worked that fish like I was freaking ice fishing. <laughs> so you can really see what I'm fishing here. You can see on the new Lake Master VX, that depth shading is freaking awesome. But you can see a little ditch that comes right up here, which is the back of the cut. These fish are just loading up in this ditch, and eventually they're probably going to push up into here. And they'll start spawning later in the year. That was so cool. I mean, so you can see my jig is right here. I watched that fish come in on Mega Live and come up, chase it up, chase it up, chase it up, and then felt boom, 
I don't know, knowing this and finding these fish, I wish I had a whole rest of the day or tomorrow to <laughs> be able to target the rest of the stuff that I already looked at because I'm taking a whole different approach to this. Like, I was trying to target specific fish I could see on Mega Live, and I can't see these fish until my bait's down there. And then they, like, basically, they see the bait and they come out of hiding. Yeah. You guys can see it coming up. Oh, come on. You went right past it. We're gonna hit one more spot on the way back and then we are out we're probably gonna be it's gonna be a late night getting everything charged for tomorrow and getting on the road but hey it's fishing load up and I'll talk to you guys when we're in the truck and on the road all right we are in the truck we are on our way down to Florida it's about three o'clock here uh, I have no idea how long we're gonna drive for all I know is I have a spot I want to be in Florida tomorrow <laughs> by sunrise so I can get rods rigged because uh, we had rods rigged for clear water cold water and spotted bass and tomorrow is going to be a complete 180. I'm hoping like throwing a swim bait, like a big easy, uh, swimming a worm, punching, flipping grass, having some fun, leaving the graph at home, well, in the truck. Technically home <laughs> on the road. So we're going to be driving for the rest of the day, but I'm going to wrap this video up here because we caught our first bass of 2023. Uh, I think I've caught a spotted bass bigger than that, but honestly, I, I don't know 100%. So really, I caught my personal best today. I caught my personal best spotted bass. I don't get to fish for spots very much. That was the goal for today, was to catch some spots, at least one, because it's the first fish of the year, and uh, I'm pumped that it was a spotted bass. That's the first time in my life it's ever been a spotted bass for my first fish of the year. Uh, and they made us work for it. They really did. They made us earn that. Uh, and I think the, the key was today, one of the things I learned anyway, was I was graphing too much. And what I mean by that, I would pull in these pockets and these ditches and I would just use them, my electronics. And if like I didn't see anything that stuck out to me in the timber where these fish were that I was catching them on when I showed you guys on Mega Live, I wouldn't like actually cast at them. And at the end of the day, I was like, screw it. I mean, just start fishing one of them just to see if anything comes out. And literally it's the first drop, one screams out of the tree, comes up and, and eats the Damiki. So that's the thing I learned is just literally, I think I need to slow down sometimes that my graph isn't telling me everything I need to know. Where this time of year when the water's so cold, like it was 50 degrees, that I need to be able to slow down and just try and fish some of the stuff. Because those fish might hold so tight to that cover that you're not going to see them on electronics. So once I did that, I started catching a couple fish. We caught three really fast, and I really wish with how fast we caught those that we did that for the duration of the day. Because I think we probably would have caught a lot more fish. But either way, it was fun catching them on Damiki. I always love that. I have a weird deal for love catching fish on a Damiki rig, uh, especially on forward-facing sonar. I try to add in some clips of forward-facing sonar as I was fishing it, but uh, I understand that that could be kind of janky. Uh, let me know what you guys think, if you if I should try to... I had that mount that I could show the, the graph, but uh, honestly, I was just too... <laughs> I honestly just didn't want to unlayer and get my GoPro put on the mount and put it on there when uh, it was windy and cold and basically I was being lazy. So if you want to see my forward-facing sonar, like when I'm using it diligently throughout the day, let me know because uh, future videos that I'm looking at it a lot um, I can I could definitely do that and it'll be easy to uh, record and be able to uh, pump out some videos for you guys using that 
So let me know in the comments. But appreciate all you guys. It's gonna be this kickstarts 2023. The goal is to pump out one video a week for the rest of the year, if not two videos on some weeks. I understand that there's gonna be weeks where I'm gonna be super busy, so we're trying to stock up on content for you guys. Chasing Hardware is coming really soon, and two weeks is our first event of the year. I'm super pumped for it. Share this channel with your friends. Let's go, let's blow up, be the fish. Appreciate all you guys. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and we'll see y'all on the next one.